guys, welcome back to another episode of GNG News. Today I'm going to be giving away some TCGO code cards for the Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. These can be used for the Pokemon Trading Card Game Online, which is the Pokemon Trading Card Game, just in the online format. Or you can also use them for Island Scans and Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, Sun and Moon. I'm sorry if I sound depressed. I've just watched that abysmal excuse of the PlayStation 5 reveal event, which didn't reveal anything but the two towers from Lord of the Rings. And um, really not happy with... I'd say 95% of the games that are coming out. The specs were awful. The fact that we're getting two consoles, one being <clears throat> the family-friendly version that doesn't have a CD drive, which is like a, a £100 cheaper. And then we're also getting the, um, the normal console. I'll be honest, I really hate that console design. I don't think it's nice. I wasn't impressed by the games. Majority of them games were leaked as well beforehand. I actually have seen what the console looked like about seven to eight months prior to like that game reveal. Um, and when I did see them all them months ago, I was really hopeful that it was fake. And it turns out that it was real. And um, yeah, I'm not going to be buying one. I'm not going to be buying one, guys. I'm sorry. Even if it goes really cheap, I'm just, I'm not going to buy one. I don't like how it looks. I don't like the specs. I don't like the games. Just really wasn't impressed. And I've been a PlayStation guy for like 20 plus years. I've stayed very loyal to PlayStation. And, um, well, I'm sorry, but you haven't got me sold. You really haven't got me sold. Because the games were nothing I was interested in. Like, no one wants to see Godfall. We've already seen gameplay of it. Also, if you notice, with half of them trailers, they weren't actual gameplay. A lot of it, you weren't actually watching gameplay. A lot of it, you are watching beta testing footage. And, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm tired of it. And the, the thing that really nailed it, nailed the coffin for the PS5, for me, of the reason why I won't buy it. Do you think I want to play GTA 5 for the third time? Like, it was called on the PS3. I play it on the PS4 with friends and I don't even enjoy playing it because the servers are terrible. Why would I want to play that on the PS5? Or what? Because you're telling everyone that they can get, a, what was it, a million every month if you're a PS4 player up until the day that they release it on the PS5. Nobody cares. Like, no one cares. We thought you were going to show GTA 6. We thought you were going to show, you know, maybe the new God of War game. Apart from Spider-Man, Miles Morales Spider-Man, and Ratchet and Clank, Horizon Dawn looks okay. There was nothing impressive. Nothing impressive. The only thing that even piqued my interest a little bit was that um, Hitman trailer. But that was way too short. And then we got a load of crap little kids games. I get it. Yes, it's a family-friendly console. Hence why you made the two versions so you could sell the cheaper one to, you know... People who can't afford to buy the more expensive console. Well, don't make it a console at a ridiculous price point. And I can't get over that design. I'm sorry, but that design is horrible. That's just a horrible design. It's not a nice looking console. And it's just not going to be something in the future that I am going to buy. And the other thing I'm thinking to myself as well. PS4 games currently cost about, what, 40 to £50? Pound? <laughs> How much are these games going to cost for the PS5? How much is a ex like you know an additional controller going to cost? How much is the camera going to cost? Because the last thing they showed was a camera, the controller, a charging dock for like two controllers, a headset, and both versions of the console. Well, I think that headset is probably going to cost a hundred pounds. A controller is probably going to be about sixty quid. Games are probably going to be about I don't know maybe seventy pounds or something. And it just seems like it's just not worth it anymore. Unless you've got tons of money put to one side for gaming, which I haven't because I'm an average person. I can't even afford to buy a console. To buy the console, that's like my rent for like one month. <clears throat> so, um, no, I won't be buying a PS5. Not happy with it. I just feel like I've wasted, you know, a good hour of my life watching that live stream to pretty much not really be told anything. And to see a load of gameplay footage trailers, which a lot of them were already out. So yeah, I, I didn't take anything away from that. 
Godfall disappointed me because we've already seen gameplay footage for that and it's just not the sort of game that I want to play. Um, there was a lot of kid-friendly games, which is not the games that I want to see and the you know the content that I wanted to see from PlayStation. And it seemed it still seemed very vague um, for a live for like a live stream. So yeah, not something that um, really piques my interest in any way at all. I don't think any time in the future I'll be getting one. Um, I know a couple of my friends wanted me to watch this live stream so I could tell them what's going on. Well, the one thing I'm going to be telling them is do not buy that console because I really don't think that that is worth the money at all. I really don't think that's worth the money for the price of what we're going to pay. And I know they haven't revealed the price, but let's be fair. The price was leaked. It's going to be about 600 quid. So if you've got 600 pound put to one side to buy this console, you know, shout out to you. But I don't want to be any part of this anymore. I just don't have any hope in PlayStation anymore. And that really saddens me because I have been a loyal PlayStation user, fan, whatever you want to call me, for like 20 plus games. And now I just, I don't know. I don't want to look at the new Xbox either because I don't want to, I don't want to jump ship. So I think I might just not bother anymore and just stay with the PS4 from now on because uh, that was not impressive. It, there wasn't anything there for me that made me feel like, you know what, this is the sort of games console that I want to get. You know, this is where I want to spend my money. All it made me feel like was, why am I doing this? Why am I spending all this money and all this time, you know, to get our products that for me, personally, I don't think it lives up to the expectation. I don't think it, it just didn't captivate me. It didn't make me feel like that was worth me spending five to six hundred pounds to buy. For me, that just seemed really, really poor. But anyways, I've given away a load of Pokemon TCGO code cards. Enjoy. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in another one very, very soon. And uh, I'm out.